Oh, good morning, guys. You two people. I do not know where I left off. <clears throat> it was. It got really cold. Down to about. I don't know. About like 28 degrees last night. Um. <laughs> got a text and I looked at my watch or my wrist. Uh, anyway, um. <clears throat> yeah, today's plan is basically uh. The kid and me are going to go to AAA, <clears throat> go get the bikes, put in our names, more or less put in his name. Um, but yeah, we we assembled the bike. I'll show you. We got the engine oil done. Got the front tire done. And we put the clutch everything's on everything's good we did fire the bike up and uh, uh, the kid did pressure wash the bike um, that's one thing about me is <clears throat> I have ADHD and uh, what I did one day cuz I can't focus on any task I was cleaning this whole area trying to clean all this area and uh, organize it so that I could park the bikes in this area and was like oh my pressure washer wand is way too long let me take it apart and uh, do something so as you can see it is that long now and it used to be I don't know if I can get that out it used to be that long and I hated it that was one of my biggest things I hated about this pressure washer was that that handle was so long and you have to be way back there and I saw a couple guys on YouTube I think it's the chemical guys <clears throat> they have little short stubby ones like this so that they can hit hook up their foam cannon and not have to have it you know 13 feet away from them <clears throat> but anyway did that because uh, I can't stay focused on any task um, that's one of my deficiencies apparently my kid inherited it from me uh, because let's go to it let's go to it got a hair on my lens <clears throat> so he inherited it and plow, and he decided he wanted to put all the plastics on right after we got it washed um I did do an oil change, so we added oil, I rode it down the street, everything was good clutch I had to adjust the clutch a little bit um but it ran disengaged, engaged, disengaged, engaged um was fine uh, came back drained the tranny oil drained the engine oil and then uh, pressure washed the heck out of this bike this bike was needed a good good soaking <clears throat> um, oiled the air filter which you really can't see back in there um, yeah so this is the bike this is it. That's the bike. It's all cleaned up now. Um, obviously, I'm going to put grips on. But uh, we're waiting for bars. We did get a package yesterday. Um, we got... Sorry, I'm going in circles. Probably making you guys dizzy. <clears throat> got this box yesterday tusk billet race foot pegs so I ordered two sets of foot pegs billet foot pegs pretty sweet I'll show you them real quick I already did but whatever some sick foot pegs man tusk tuscadero anyways these are risers for the handlebars 
because I ordered bars. The cool thing about these ones is you can have it where the bar sits a little forward or you can spin it and have the bar sit back from you so they're offset. Not sponsored. I have no sponsors by any of these people, any of these companies. The only sponsor is me, which is actually uh, my kid on this build. So order ordered two sets. <clears throat> Two sets because I'm gonna do bars on my bike um, which is why I haven't thrown a grip on yet but I don't see why I can't throw a grip on this side because this throttle tube is stained um, we're gonna go to AAA actually we're gonna go to the the most expensive bike shop in the world it's called Riders Choice um, they're a big ripoff because I screwed up um, and I need a nut for this. I want to put a nut on before he goes ride it, just in case. So, when the bars come, I got ordered pads, ordered pro taper pads, and probably some Ling Long handlebars, uh, fat bars, one and an eighth inch diameter down here. So, it tapers, it's skinny and then fat. Anyway, you guys know what they are. Um... So yeah, we're going to go to the bike shop. Oh, I do have these coming. Um, I think these are, these are supposed to be here today. My FedEx, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not sure. What else are we supposed to get here? I'm looking at a Kickstarter because this Kickstarter's kind of loose, kind of floppy. As you can see. So, kind of... Want to try to get a different Kickstarter. Um, so what do I have in the cart? I have the right nut. Oh, and then a clutch. This this rod here, it's called a clutch lift lever. Just in case that one's bad, because this clutch is kind of it's kind of stiff. It's really stiff. But it could be just the springs because it's a Wiseco dilly bob and it's got stiffer springs whereas this clutch is like it's like nothing all right so nut which hopefully they have it today get rid of that that piece just in case and a kickstarter this is aftermarket it's 50 bucks they want a hundred and something dollars for a oem one um let's go Pertiches, pertiches. Let's see. Oh, I need. I'm supposed to be getting this pump. Oh, I'll get that Monday. These these bikes require a high pressure bicycle pump, so 300 psi pump for the air. Anyway, I got that. The water pump seal. Who knows when I'm gonna get that? It's not leaking, so we should be good. Tire got. I gotta do a tranny service, so I figured I'd order a oil pan gasket. So these are the bars. Ordered one gold for mine and one black for his. So as you can see they're just a fat bar. Nothing special. Hopefully, uh hopefully they're uh, good quality. Ordered uh, the pads, pro taper pads. I ordered um, red for my bike and black for his bike because I don't really care. Got that, got that, got that, got that, that. So, <clears throat> estimated delivery Saturday the 28th, which is today. It's in City of Industry right now. So, is the fork guards. I got that, got that. Thankfully, I got that. O-rings for the oil filter. I have some of those, but I ordered them because they were a bulk part number. Levers. I think that's pretty much it. That's the part I screwed up on. So, fork guards. Air pump. Bars. Um... But yeah, if we go get the, if we can find this nut today, um, I am going to have him go cruise the bike just in the desert for probably like 20, 30 minutes. And we're going to do another oil change. 
um, because we did the tranny side and there was still a lot of gritty fiber stuff you can see or maybe not maybe I took a shower anyway it was all over my hand like a plague so anyway guys that's it that's pretty much the bike I'll keep updating you nothing's leaking so far this is all just oil junk from whatever um bike shop we're gonna get a nut and I'm gonna try to have him buy a stand because I can't keep swapping stands over kind of a pain in the butt <clears throat> um but yeah that's it guys that's all I got so stay tuned for uh the next ride or the next video sorry I didn't get a video putting plastics on they were kind of a pain in the butt because they're like kind of like Legos like um this piece interlocks into this piece this piece wraps around the frame this piece clips and clips and does all kinds of stuff the back fender is a pain in the butt to put on I did have to get in some bolts and nuts to get those bolts and nuts right in there right 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 right, right there um he had just like a bolt and it was like cross threaded and I don't even know but uh yeah we lubed the chain new brakes brakes did work good new tire hopefully this tire is holding air I'll have to check oh yeah uh yeah okay it's holding there alright guys that's gonna be it um next video hopefully will be of us riding or maybe applying the graphics um not sure if I'm gonna do that on video because you know me stickers paint everything i screwed all up so all right guys see you guys in the next video subscribe comment do what you guys do thanks for comments thanks for subscribing and uh see you guys on the next video peace out